family. This will be a sign for family. I believe we've already done it, but just to make sure. I know it's with Fs, and there is some debate in the ASL community about whether it should be changed to like that. Um, but it ceased to be the letter F, and now it's really, it's really just a handshake. Um, oh, I always do this. All right. So we've already done, again, this is review. We're reviewing all the things we've covered in family um, and adding just a few little vocab things to, to flesh it out. Um, we've talked about how to describe people. So now we're gonna describe family members a little bit more. And then we did birth order, right? Using your hand to show rankings, two of us, three of us, four, five, um, a ton. And, and so practicing, birth order, that ranking, practicing age, using age, older, right? and relationships, my aunt, my uncle, okay. Um, we can also talk about where they work. We'll also add some events and gatherings, holidays and things like that, the stuff we can't celebrate this year, or we <clears throat> shouldn't be celebrating this year. If you are, best of luck, hope no one dies. Okay. Um, and then we also want to look at how do we ask questions about those different things? How can we flip them around to be questions? So the vocab, I'll include uh, the vocab summary, the vocab slideshow as well, but we'll go through them quickly. We've got wedding, right? The two hands, like on the cover of so many wedding programs, you've got the two hands sort of joined. Um, birthday, there's a bunch of signs for birthday. The most, uh, I suppose, graphic is birth day. So here's the baby coming out, end day, birthday, entrance day. Um, there are regional signs, if you just flick with your middle finger um, on where your lapel would be, birthday. Um, there's an Ohio sign, birthday, like favorite or taste, and then you touch to that same place you were just flicking. So those are the three that I wanna show for right now. Um, birthday, I would say stick with that one to start with, birthday. Birthday, tiny sign, doesn't have to be big. Um, I mean, you don't have to. Um, or you will you may have already seen this or this hello dog I've got to show off the sweater come here Augie. here oh. okay he walked out augie has got a very cute sweater um celebrate two x's and then you just sort of flip them up in the air celebrate um vacation vacation you'll see it sometimes with v's vacation. It's also the sign for retire. Sometimes you'll see retire with others, but just hanging out, enjoying the nothing to do. Um, family gathering. You can do family, get together, or family, and this is like people coming. Each finger is a different person coming in. So family coming together. Gather, gather. So, graduation. Graduation, you take the G, and it's you put it above your your watch, and then you flip it up onto its pinky, onto your pinky. Graduation. It's also the sign for it comes from the sign for establish. The idea is that once you've graduated, you become, you enter the working world, right? So boom, establish, graduation. Um, Thanksgiving. We didn't really go over that. This fall, I think we went over a couple of those signs, but we didn't do a whole vocab unit on it. Um, Thanksgiving, a G, it comes from like Turkey Day, like the little waddle that hangs down. So Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving. So this is the sign for thank you. Thank you, and then you give that to someone. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Don't do this. This is not a turkey. Um, and then, uh, Christmas. Christmas. And the way I picture it is you're drawing half of a wreath with a C. 
Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Hanukkah um, starts with one in the center, and then four is on either side. And Kwanzaa, I believe, is one to three. So Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Uh, Kwanzaa. Uh, Bottom, we're gonna we'll go over these, but nice. We did nice. We did nice to meet you way back. Nice family. Next column, cute, with a little U or an H. Oh, cute. Comes from the sign for sugar or sweet. Pretty, pretty. Now, um, you can do looks good as a generic, looks good for male, female. Uh, a lot of guys don't like to be called pretty. So, whatever. Um, so sometimes you'll see handsome with an age. Oh, it's dumb, it's handsome. It means it looks good, whatever. Um, now some comparative stuff. Looks, right, so we did looks good. Looks like, looks like you. Looks like you. Talking about like family, or the two people who look this, similar. Look similar. Looks young. No, so no, looks old, but you could sign that. Looks old, really thirty? Wow, oh, looks old, ninety. Mm. Uh, -bum. look different. Comparing two pictures of, you know, how you looked in high school and how you look now, maybe different. Um, or look same. And, uh, and then the last are some of the WH questions we often ask. When? When? This is generic time. When? As opposed to what time? When? When is class? Versus when were you born? Um, where? Ooh, where? 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 And how old? We normally do it twice. Okay. So that's the vocab from this unit. So if you look through wedding, birthday. I still sign birthday. I've been in Ohio and I don't do birthday or birthday. I, I tend to do birthday. Celebration. Um, if it's an anniversary, we'll often see like annual. It comes from year in the future, like every year. Celebration. Vacation. So family reunion. So uh, the spacing is off on the letters. Converting the slide kind of got weird, but Go back up. Cute, pretty, handsome. So we would go and try to like add as much commentary as we can. How would you describe these people? Lots of different ways that you can compare. Oh. Okay. 
E F. And then do you have family pictures like that? Because I my family never got into all of us dressing the same. We always felt it was really creepy. So at this point I would ask people to pull up on their phones family photos, divide into groups, and describe them. Something just pull up a family picture and talk about it. Um, how would you describe who is that person? We've talked about relationships, we've done all that. Um, what do most people say or about them? Like, are they cute? Are they not? Are they look cool? I don't know. You know it's kind of weird to discuss our uh, um, by ourselves, completely understand. Um, so the next is a couple of mini dialogues. And um, the first one is Priscilla talking about uh, her grandmother. And she'll go through the whole thing. And what I did with each of these is, oops, I did one slide with the, the full video on it. So hopefully if you watch that, um, it'll be clearer than the small one. And then I did the answers as well. Same thing. Uh, I couldn't put the video on this one because there were so many more questions, but Here's the video, and then the answers. And we need dialogue three. I have to go back and take off those answers. Okay. I should replace the video because I think that one needed a process. So now the next thing is just for fun to describe these families. And this is when I, I would bring these up in class and just ask people to go around describe. So we could also describe their clothing because for the most part, cartoons are pretty iconic, right? They wear the same outfits. Sometimes the colors differ. Facial hair. Right? Um, I know they're not a family, but they're family. Um, hats are different. Clothing is different, right? So, oh. and then the vocab again. So again, it's just a summation of the stuff we've done, a story talking about, um, oh, I need to replace this one. Okay. So oh, cool. Um, so I'll put all the videos on there. And that is 414. Again, these last ones are really hit and run, just kind of taking us a little bit further down the road. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu.